Hey, hello. So in this session, uh, I try something that not really quite worked, uh, but I don't know. Uh, but basically, what I intend is to use one of these text-to-image uh, systems, the stable diffusion, which is trained with a very generic um, and large uh, set of images, but that they don't include, for example, for instance, uh, some notion of, of design patterns and 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 textures and grids and uh, geometric uh, design, right? So, so then say, okay, what about if I take um, a bunch of images with the style that I would like to to retrain this network and try to find a way to to do it? Uh, I try a couple of ways too. Uh, one was uh, with uh, um, clip guidance, which is like drop all these images and then every time that it creates an image, it would try to make it look like something like this. And then another one, the other option was uh, uh, create an, it's called hyper network, which is um, embed all this knowledge inside the, the model itself. Um, here are some of the, the outputs. These are like generic, generic um, naked model output, that's, that's what it's able to do. And then, um, which in some cases is, is okay, is valid. But uh, then when I, when I try with this um, clip guidance, it did something that's naked, that's with the guidance, so it tries to kind of arrange things in a grid or, or a bit more, more harmonic uh, color patterns, but it's, it's not a, a valid approach, so that didn't work, at least for me. And then the other one has been to, to train a hyper network for 17,000 steps. And also here, for example, we see this is the, like, one of the results. This is the same problem without this hyper network. And this is with the hyper network, which it has some more mm, balance on the, on the color tones, but it's not significant. Right, so when I when I say uh, uh, a pattern of 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 insects or something like this, it's not able to capture the essence of of this kind of look and feel. So it uh, kind of didn't work, but we'll keep trying. Okay. Hey, ¿qué tal? So today uh, we're gonna try something. I'm gonna try something that is um, a bit bothering me, so I want to try to see if I, if I can make it. So the idea is to have a style control for texture generation. So we do have a lot of um, you know, recent developments with uh, stable diffusion and all these uh, text, to, text to image generation tools out there, right? So starting from DALI, right? So you, you know, you, you, you type a prompt and then you can get um, images, right, with uh, special features, out painting, and all these things. Um, so something very direct is like, okay, let's use this to to create materials, to create new textures for for our projects, for, for graphic design, or for something from 3D to the whatever, right? So in the same way that I can say, okay, output me this this raccoon in the in the space, I can say, okay, I'll output me a texture of um, slightly rusted metal um, with orange tones and, and, and some edges, right? So then I can use this for for, for my uh, creative projects, no? We can use this for, for the projects. Uh, <laughs> okay, so, that's nice. Mm, okay, how, how, how to do this? So we, with text to image we have, um, we have already sorted this uh, that we can create textures, so we can we can go on and, and, and create these things, and also we can make them seamless, right? So uh, if I jump, let me jump to my machine, which is somewhere, yep, here. So if I say here, um, yeah, uh, brick texture, this I have it by the way, running it here in, in my machine. So, okay, it works, it, it generates this thing, right? So if I say a brick texture um, with uh, holes and blue tones. Yeah, it kind of uh, this, or 
a tile wall with uh, da, da, da. Well, let's let's make a Portuguese tile. Portuguese tiles. Portuguese tiles. Okay, so it works with tiles. Um, what say? Let's say a uh, clean pattern design. Yeah. So as you see, there's a lot of uh, of, of of talking and interrogation with the uh, with the model to try to to get what we want, right? So if I say I want a pattern, uh, floral. Mm, modern and with uh, pastel tones uh, color scheme okay I get I get these things and of course uh, whatever I I say uh, yeah I was uh, saying here that we have seamless solve so if I say a pattern of uh, dinosaurs illustration I recently used this to make a, a paper wrapping for a for a gift. So we we have this, which is okay. It's 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 valid, no. So I mean, it's totally inaccurate, but as a as <laughs> as a as a design, it 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 works, right? Um, and I say we can make this. Uh, we can make it um, seamless applying the the tiling. So now. Uh, this part here is the same as here, and this tail must, uh, yeah, actually this is a snaky. Mm. So we have this, this part solved. The part that we don't have solved is the, the style control, the, the, the quality of the design, right? So for example, when we, so the thing is that if all these things is trained with an uncurated data set, well, I mean, it's like a bunch of images with there's everything there, not specifically uh, um, design content with uh, some visual uh, qualities. So the outputs we have, they are weak. They are, they are quite, quite of average. So um, I'm saying this because when I go on and I go to places like, like Pinterest, let's go to Pinterest, and I go to Pinterest and I say, okay, I wanna design pattern. I get something like this, right? So if I say, um, oh, it has some cleanliness, it has some organization, it has, well, it's made by, by, with some aesthetic qualities, right? Some, something like this and, and, and all these things, right? So, What if I want something like this to be output from a place like this? So let's try it with a, uh, oh, why this is in Spanish, design. No, let's find something a bit more descriptive. Flora wallpaper collections, Scandinavian folk, okay, this. Let's say if I say something like this to the, to the tool, right? So. I go on and I say, made me Scandinavian folk art seamless vector pattern stock vector. No, no, you see, so it's not it's not there. So it's a, clearly we are not speaking the same the same language because if I mm, formulate the sentence Scandinavian folk art seamless vector vector pattern, I have this in mind. Uh, but this tool doesn't have this thing in mind. So we, we speak different languages. So the idea now is to try to bring this tool or, or fine tune this tool to, to what, I, what I want. So the first thing I need to do maybe is to see, well, how, let's check, let's check what, what's in there, what's in the, in the, in the training, in the training data set, right? So if I, this, this thing, the whole stable diffusion, which is, which is here, let me open it, the whole stable diffusion, which is the, the, the open source text to image um, tool, so it's not DALI, it's not uh, Midjourney, it's not uh, um, Imagine, 
but is, is this. So this has been trained with a data set that is called uh, Lion, right? And then this, this Lion, they have uh, these uh, 400 million images or 5 billion images. So these, um, these are the, the kind of images that shaped the knowledge of these tools. Right? So first thing we need to do would be to uh, clip retrieval, right? So first go to this to this tool, which is an a browser, an explorer of, of these four hundred million of the, or of these five billion images. So if here I say, okay, let's say a cat, right? I see all the cats that <laughs> that help train this stable diffusion. And so we we know which kind of things the system learn. If I say uh, pizza, just to make it very generic, that's the kind of things that it learn. So, but then if I if I put something like uh, maybe something more localized, and saimada, which is a kind of dessert, uh, well. It, it totally fails, right? So, so, so then this means that if I go on and I say here, uh, photo of an Ansaimada, it's not gonna know what it is because it didn't learn it. So, because it's not on the data set. But on the other hand, if I go to, to Google and I say Ansaimada, It knows, right? So, so we're gonna try to um, to see what's here for design patterns, right? Design patterns. Okay. Quite bad, no? So it uh, this ah uh, okay well uh, yeah yeah that's uh, books and and theories patterns on on design. Okay, so that's. Clearly not what we wanted. So if we go on with this with these sentences to here with these descriptions, we will not get nice results. So let's fine tune something. Okay, what we are saying here: this Scandinavian folk art. Uh, let's see if it learns something like this. But, hey. Okay, yeah, something like this, but they don't call it seamless vector pattern. Okay, so maybe it's seamless vector pattern, the, the language, right? And we need to use seamless vector pattern, design, texture. Anyway, it seems that the content that we are looking or I'm looking for is not on the on the training data set, this, this kind of style. So one way to do is to, to okay, so, so let's retrain, let's reshape this tool to, some, to, to get the, 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 the style control the, or the, the guidance that we want to give it. There's um, different ways to, to do that. One would be the using what's called Let's let's start with the Dream Booth. Dream Booth is a is a very fantastic tool that um, I think is developed by by Google. So basically, you take a very small sample of images of a subject or that you want to add to these models, and then it it creates a new model that includes this 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 subject. Right? So um, yeah, that's 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 one way. It's quite computationally intensive, so it, it needs to, to, to be, um, I cannot run it locally, but, but there's, there's other ways to do it. And um, it mainly works very good for subjects, which in our case is not subjects, not that we want that flower pattern everywhere, uh, but we want the, the, the essence, essence, essence the, 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 the quality of, of it. Mm. So, okay, then another way to do it would be to, um, okay, textual inversion, which textual inversion is a very similar approach. So you, you put 
a subset of images of, of the concept or the style that, that you want it. So then you can re reformulate your um, your prompts, your, your your sentences, including this new learned um, concept. Right? So this is good. This is this approach is very nice because it's it creates a very versatile files. So in a way that you can keep the same model, the same train original model, and then add on top these kind of new learnings, and you could even combine them, no? um, which is which is a very good approach. So we we could try that. And then the other one is the hyper networks. The hyper networks is also another way to to add a kind of layer. I think it's in the last some some of the of the last layers to 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 add a subject or a style, which is also a, a good a good a good approach. Right? So um, and this also needs to be trained outside my system because uh, I cannot uh, make it work with my eight gigabyte RAM. And then there's another one, which is a, a very quick one, which is the aesthetic guidance. Which aesthetic guidance I I haven't tried, so I hope it it it, it works. Which is um, it's while the system is generating, it's gonna kind of compare with uh, with with some content that I, that I give beforehand. So it, it will try to shape the things in the style of, 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 of the reference images. Right? So, okay, let's, let's try these things. So we, oh, and we're gonna use, so that's table diffusion, and we're gonna use this um, web uh, user interface, this web user interface, um, which I, it has a lot of functionality, so it's, it runs on top of the of the stable diffusion. Right, so it's what I have here. Uh, wait, I think it's a bit small for the system. Yeah, better, right? Okay, so the first what we're gonna do is just try to find what we won, right? So we were saying that okay, I want this kind of this Pinteresty uh, style of, of of quality of design patterns. So I do have here uh, some selection of uh, of images that I believe they they have this quality. I have here one hundred something of them. Here I have thirteen thousand of them. <laughs> Is maybe a bit too much. This is because I used them for for one project long time ago to use to train a, a style gun model to generate these kind of things, which is yeah, it 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 made some some results. Um, the, that's a bit simple shapes. This is nine hundred of them. Ah, oh, that's a good one. Nine hundred. Well, let's let's start with with one hundred, right? So we have 100 of them. Here we have them a square. Okay. What we can try first is like to see what this system may um, understand from these images. Right? So how how would this system describe them? I think this is clip interrogator. I think there was this clip interrogator. Yeah. Interrogator. Yeah. Okay. Good. So let me drop this to to the other machine. Let's uh, control T. Okay. This clip interrogator. This this is gonna run these images against the 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 text engine that powers a uh, stable diffusion, something like that. Right. So, okay. Let's come here. Let's go. Let's see these things. So how would I describe this? I would describe like a kind of floral pattern with uh, pastel colors and made of leaves and slightly chaotic, right? Yet organized. So let's see how this is described. Okay, so this is a, ah, that's a nice one, right? 
this a pattern of pol uh, palm leaves on a background and make sure we ma maximalist blue and pink color scheme my computer icon ferns stream streaming on Twitch the background is black future funk of the bright vivid color hues intricate well that's kind of a, a lot to say uh, about this right so let's see if I ask this system to do exactly that Oma. Oma. not bad eh not bad I mean I also have the tiling on Wow Okay. Well, and anyway, let's let's continue with 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 the thing. Even if um, this is uh, good good enough, so let's try to to do this um, aesthetic uh, aesthetic embedding, right? So we have that here. We have um, the kind of images that that we are looking for, and the style, which is this this um, Pinteresty style. Right, and we want to tell this. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Yeah, we have them here, the square, and we know how it's described. So we go back here. We find this. We copy these things. This URL, and we create a new aesthetic embedding that we call it design. A bit like this, no? I'm gonna remember no no design style all together design style and I need to lower this batch size because my computer is not really up to but if we have how many we had we had like 100 something right 134 items so yeah can do it they seem a bit blurry Maybe it's the connection. Anyway, let's try it. Create this embedding. And here I can see how this thing is going. It's done. OK, good. Good, it's done. So uh, this has been created. Yeah, cool. So now when I say, I say, uh, OK, the, ones, the, one we, the one we had before, right? So let's. Let's replicate the, the same description that is lost now. OK. Anyway, uh, design, pattern, fern, pink, blue colors, geometric, bah. black background. Okay, so that's what it is able to do right now. Okay, and let's see if I enable this aesthetic guidance. Aesthetic guidance, what is it? Okay, aesthetic guidance, the design style. Didn't improve that much, right? Okay, minimal design pattern texture. Texture floral. Okay, we can see them a bit better here because I'm transferring them. Okay, let's see if we add a bit more of a um, stronger, stronger weight, put it 100%, and we say, okay, I want, let's, yeah, let's do 20 steps of guidance and also. Our creation could be also up to yeah, 40, OK? So 
So it does 20. OK. OK. That's, that's, that's a bit more, um, a bit more like this, right? OK. That's not. Oh, no. That's OK also. But to, to verify the, um, the usefulness of this, of this approach, we're going to try to generate one that we like it, which is not the case. Which is not the case. It doesn't seem to work quite much. But design pattern test. Maybe it's not the wording, eh? So maybe design pattern texture, illustration, bah. detail flow geometric. Maybe without design because it confuses this thing. Pattern texture, illustration, detail flowers, geometric. It's a very okay. That's 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 nicer. Another one. Nope. No, 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 it doesn't work. It's not nice. It's not nice enough. Uh, it's too messy, no? It's too, it's too crowded. It's too, um, it's not clean. It's not uh, balanced. No, it. It doesn't breathe. Okay, so wrong. So this doesn't work. Okay, so let's say if I say this same the same prompt with or without the the aesthetic guidance, let's see what happens. Okay, this is with, which is kind of okay. So now we take the same let's take the same um, seed, the same point in the model that this image started and to see that if we are doing it so and now I don't put any guidance and I generate it. Let's see what happens. And now the same with the guidance. And now the same with the guidance point nine. Nothing. And ah oh yes. Um, okay, we'll look at them later. And now with uh, this thing, which I don't know what it is. OK, so let's see if it's already synchronized. Yes. So now, let's see. That's what we just did now. So this one, two, three, four. This is with guidance, without guidance. Full screen. OK. With, without, without, with. No, it's not 
is not nice. It's not what I want. It's not what we want, right? It's not. It's not this. So we need to try another approach, and the other approach will be using these um, hyper networks. And to do the hyper net hyper networks, I can do it locally, which I can. So I could. I could if I had uh, uh, more of these things, right? I have, what is it? Okay, I have 7,000, but uh, eight, eight zigos. So what I'm gonna do is like try to run this same thing that I'm running here, but in a, in remotely. In, in this case, I'm using the uh, Google Collab, which I, have a little subscription, so I have a, a theoretically or randomly a little bit more of computing power. And let's do it. No, so I connect and uh, runtime. Uh, I want it with a full GPU premium. Venga, high RAM. Venga, everything. And I connect. So now, in theory, I get as much as I can from this system. OK, so first, what I need to do is uh, I need to connect the um, connect my drive. Right? So then I can have all, all these things here. Of course, I won't give everything. So now once I'm connected, so these images, I drop them inside data. So now I install this, I connect, install the things. And I would be ready to launch the web interface, which is good because it uses uh, uh, Gradio, which it creates this web interface. So I can, I will be able to, to use Something similar as I have here, one of the same that I have here, but remotely instead of instead of in my uh, local host, somewhere. But computing from Collab, so it's it's a very nice um, solution to to use extra extra power. Okay, so all this is uh, running now. Okay, so this is this is launched. This is done. Okay, cool. So now we have the same the same that we had here in my machine, but out there. To know that it's exactly the same, this should produce very similar results, right? So if I tell it to do something like this with the same characteristics, which is 25, and this is it. <laughs> That's a cute one. 25. And with this seat, should produce the same ugly pattern. And it doesn't. Ah, because I have the... Okay, so this embedding actually screwed up. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay, that's clear not the way to use the static embeddings for, for this style because this is what I, this is what we want and it works and it's beautiful. But when we enable what we created, this style creep aesthetic, it doesn't work. Well, it works somehow. It's true. It, it tries to make more organized, clean shapes. But it loses a lot. So OK, so let's try. Now, with training this hyper network, 
that we gotta we're gonna call it design right and yeah or design the, the same design style right? we call it design style and we create it and then once it's created which here we can see what it's doing on the background same as in my terminal we're gonna train it train it train it so the hyper network that I want to train is called this one then the learning rate, actually, yeah, uh, the learning rate. There was, there was, there was, um, there was some data in one of. There was some data in the hyper networks here, that I think is interesting to look at. Yeah, you can make this this um, sequential rate. So we can say for the first um, 100 images, go with with five zeros, the next one six zeros, and the next uh, 10,000, um, seven zeros, 20,000, eight zeros. So, so here you can see that it has like uh, some zeros. So we're gonna do like this. We're gonna say that, um, 20,000, that's okay. And we're gonna say that I want one image every 50. Just because, just I wanna see how, how the things, how the things move. And then the, this one, this is the prompt that is gonna use to generate new images based on, on our new style, right? So we call it for net, for a hyper network txt just to verify that is this text and inversion templates hyper network txt it says a photo of a dirty uh, photo but we don't want this we don't want this we don't want this so we're gonna create a new one, right? I'm gonna create another one that is called. Um, okay, there's there's also one thing. Just first, what we can do is pre-process the images, the images that we have now here, that we call it uh, square. Let's copy this path. Let's take this thing, and then pre-process these images. We call it close captions, and ask uh, the interrogator to, to describe the images. That's, that's what we just did before. Right? And we process this. Let's change this for uh, design pattern texture of Of a uh, okay, replace all. Now we have, and then a photo. It's not a. We don't want a photo. We wanna. We wanna drawing, illustration, graphics, right? So we change photo for a drawing graph. I don't know the graphics of a uh, a uh, a uh, a uh, a. Uh. Vale. Let's let's duplicate this a a for a only. Let's see a good drawing illustration graphics of a design pattern textures of a. Ah, shit! I miss one of these. Okay, so we replace all. That's good. That's a good one. That's a good one. And then this we will call it. Just save it. Good 
and then we save it. And now here we're gonna say that we wanna trade train it with these hyper networks. Good. So every time it's gonna try to describe this thing, generate something, and then based on, on our training data. And this this already finished, so we we can see what's the images that it created, what's the descriptions that created. So now for every image, this one, it has a text description, which is says, a black and white photo of a circle pattern of a sheet of paper black dot on the bottom. So then this means that what it's gonna do, it's gonna create a different graphic, a different pattern texture of a blah, 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 blah. Good, we have it. We have it ready to, to train. So now we need to change the training data set. We change it to this one, the CC, closed captions. That's, I don't know, that's how I call it. Uh, and I put it here. Good, so now we have, we're gonna design style, this learning rate, this data set with the another thousand, save, train let's see so this is gonna take a while but uh, let's see what it's doing now let's close everything okay it started and what we said is that every 50 every 50 Im every 50 steps show me an image right so now it's 38 42 no 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 Hey, what is the image? Ah, uh, here, okay. So this is the one from today, design style. And these are the images that is generating, cool. Cool, wow. Wow. Wow, this, this is nice. Wow, this works. Nice. Uh, and every 500 steps is gonna save save the network. So let's wait for 500. Wow, nice. Okay, so it seems that we managed to create our own Pinterester, right? Okay, so actually what we can do is, we can take the images, the descriptions of the images, of the patterns, like this one, 36, 36. And run it on our local machine. Let's see. Let's see what happens without this thing. Okay. Blah blah blah. blah. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna load. Okay. Already already save one one uh, checkpoint, right? So what we're gonna do is take this uh, checkpoint, and, uh, okay, this one. And this one, I move it, I need to put it here. So now when I reload, it's gonna detect these 500 steps. And now let's try. Hmm. Well, it's, yeah, it's more clean, is it? Is it? Yeah, I think it's okay. I think it's nicer. Since we have the 1,000 step, we can do the same, right? Okay, the 1,000. Uh, of cats and ferns. Wow, that's nice. It has some aesthetic qualities. 
it has something, right? It has some niceness. Okay, we are going, we are getting somewhere, right? Getting somewhere. Yes, many cats. And few firms. Okay, it also learned that it <laughs> the stock, right? So we need to put a negative. So I don't want logo. I don't want watermark. I don't want signature. I don't want text at all. This is a nice one. This is a nice one. So now we try this very same one right we can see that is we can replicate it we try the very same one but without the hyper network and let's see So, it doesn't do anything. Um, okay, let's say with Hyper Network 500. And let's say with Hyper Network 1000. I, I really love this cat. Look at this black neck cannot see the difference eh? I really cannot see the difference cannot see the difference let's see in full screen So this is 1,500, 1,500, 1,500, 1,000, <laughs> not really sure but okay let's leave it for for a while and let's see if it improved the aesthetics right it's 1000 we are nine percent let's leave it for one hour let's say Okay, so we interrupt the, the training uh, because it already arrived to, to 17,000, which is okay. This did in uh, one hour, 40 something minutes. That's good. Um, and now what we're going to do is try to run some uh, prompts with or without this hyper network. Okay, so what we can do now is uh, so now in the hyper networks, here we should see. If we refresh, we see this design style, right? So, which is the the latest hyper network saved um, two forty something. So then, if we go back to our stable diffusion on models, uh, models, sorry, in hyper networks, we should see this uh, design style, right? So it's being updated. But first, we're not going to use it. Right, so first we're gonna uh, save this, go here and try to run. Let's see if we can do it with one of our original pr prompts, right? Over the better offer, 
right? So this is the things that the, we were asking the network to do. And we say of A, and then we go back to the mm, 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 one of these images, right? So let's say mm, 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 let's say we choose we choose one of these loads. Okay, now it doesn't load this thing. Anyway, this one. Okay, so this is described as a, a white and baseball paper with a spiral design in size with white background. Okay. So we copy this and we say of A, this. Let's see what it generates. Okay. That's a pure stable diffusion learned from the Leon, uh, Leon um, data set. So now we go to settings, we add our hyper network that we just trained to 17,000 steps. We apply these things and we generate it again. And let's see. Okay. Okay, not okay, no? Or what? Okay, not okay, I think. Let me see the description. This is actually not seeing it nicely. Let's see if... Um, Let's try it again. Okay, that's one thing. It doesn't have the quality of of of, of the design that we wanted. This is nice one. Got a different color circles. Okay, so I think it got something, right? This is something, and then let's try this very same sit and prompt with this without this um, hyper network. Play settings, save. Ugly, right? And let's see if we we ask for a like in the beginning, no? A simple, minimal design pattern, geometric. Yeah. So this is a generic pattern. I'm asking a pattern for my designs. That is too dense, no? I want it. Uh, <laughs> Mm -mm -mm. Okay, remove dense. Okay, no minimal. Come on, cannot do minimal. This is this is just like a migraine food. Uh, okay, simple design pattern geometry. Maybe I need to be more specific. Mm, okay, pastel colors. Let's see. Okay, this is this is something. So then we take this same thing and we activate the hyper network. Save this thing and then generate. Not much change, not much change. That's that's true. Okay, let's let's try it. Let's try it locally. Uh, let me get this uh, thousand, and let's let's add different. Let's seventeen, then another at half, because maybe it lost the uh, the things. Yeah, actually, we should 
we should we could have checked the, um, the images, right? So let's see what it generated. Okay. Yeah, it seems that it learned a little bit of composition. Colors are not right, but <laughs> some weird things. Okay, yeah, yeah, and, uh, yeah. I think it learned something, something else, something that it didn't know. Actually, we can review the images that we that we drop, which was these ones. So we expect with ha with this hyper network to be able to do something with this sensitivity. And looks like didn't learn it that much. But let's try. So let's reload this these networks, these hyper networks. Now we have the the one thousand seven. Okay, so Okay, let's continue with the cats with the same seed. Okay, this is at 1,000. Okay, this is at 7,000. Like, one of the results. This is the same problem without this hypernetwork, and this is with the hypernetwork, which it has some more mm, balance on the on the color tones, but it's not significant, right? So, so it uh, kind of didn't work, but we'll keep trying. Okay, 